Hello guys, what's going on? Welcome with a new bug video, BAC, and no, it's not blood alcohol concentration, it's Battle Altar's Conqueror. So now we'll be facing 505 Revitalize Ares. Oh my god, that was deadly proc of Death Knight, it was epic finisher, but it was horrible for my heroes, and yes. 5 of 5 Revitalized Ares is the worst thing that you can meet in the Lost Realm if it's your opponent hero. My opponent's 5 of 5 Revitalized Heroes are just horrible. I hate them because I don't have these talents. My Ares is only 4 of 5 Revitalized, that is extremely good. But still worse than 505 Revitalize. So how can I beat 505 Revitalize Ares if I don't have one? Well, I'm using Thunder God in that case and it's it's still hard because Thunder God is a melee hero and thanks to the god he's 505 Revitalize. He's one of two 5 of 5 revived heroes that I have. One of them is Ninja and the other one is Thunder God. So that's the hero that helps me to beat these them 5 of 5 revived Aerises and other heroes like Minotaurs. Ah. And well, there is uh, one secret about Thunder God. It was mentioned many many times but Father God is not melee at all. He is ranged and his range is equal, equal one or two squares, something like that. It's a very short range, but his range is longer than the range of the other melee heroes. So that's why he always hit first. And when you put a sprint on your Father God, then he can hit faster than the enemy hero that is also very good huh let's put him let's give for him sprint level level 3 because level 2 is not enough level 3 will give us better result and higher damage and the only thing that is still causing me problems is that father got stun lasts only one and a half second that's a very short time it's often not enough for your Ares with at least 4 or 5 Revitalize to proc because Ares has to hit more than 2 times in less than 1.5 second. Well, it is possible. Like now, look at it. Enemy Ares still procs before my Ares does. But well, we'll be still trying to to create a setup that will change enemy heroes focus and their priority so I will be able to beat them. It's still not possible, but it is possible with the right setup. I know it's very hard to guess what setup will be the best. Every case, every battle altar, every opponent requires different setup, different hero placement. So you have to you have to check many of them, you have to think and you have to try most of these things. Now my father got propped twice. Yes he did. That's why I won. And he was put on the right side with other heroes, you can see that. So thanks to that I was able to beat it because the Ares still didn't hit with his full energy right after my Thunder got proc. He had to make few steps and then my Thunder got proc second time. So yes, that's that's that was a perfect setup for that battle altar. I'll be doing some more openings right now and lost Realm gameplay. 
because why not? I have I have some stamina. And if you enjoyed that series, BAC or Buck, I don't know how to call it. What sounds better, BAC or Buck? Write in comments and tell me if you enjoy it or not. If it's helpful, I guess that that most of you don't have a 505 revitalized Thunder God, but you can use other stunning heroes. You can try other strategies. It's not like if you're if if you are not able with your main setup to beat that altar. I think it's still possible with other setups. You just need a good idea, right heroes, right crests, and it will be possible. So thanks around for watching that video. Don't forget to like it, subscribe, give a comment, write some comments, thank your opinion, so it will be very helpful for me. And don't forget to share it with your friends. I'm sure that your friends might be interested in watching some strategy videos, guidelines and stuff like that. If not, then they won't subscribe. Simple. So thanks everyone and see you soon. And you can now enjoy the music and also watch some Lost Realm gameplay. Because why not? Open chests, stuff like that. So, see ya!